Hey friends, back again uh, with another YouTube video. Uh, I see my uh, YouTube videos were getting just a little slim lately, so I decided to uh, sit down and create some more for you guys. Been quite busy lately, working on some different writing projects and things like that, and getting some of the courses uh, for Bluegrass Guitar Essentials uh, uploaded to Udemy. Uh, trying to switch over to that platform because it's such a great platform to work with uh, when it comes to learning. Uh, anything online, especially guitar. But uh, what I want to talk about today is a another uh, gear review, and we're going to be talking today about a pick that I was sent a pretty good while back, actually a few months ago, and I'm just now getting to it. I um, apologize for that, but uh, I wanted to wait until I accumulated a few videos before uh, I sat down to do this one. And uh, this is a pick called, well, I don't know what it's called. I'll just tell you what it is. I'll just show it to you real quick. See if you can see what that is. Isn't that pretty? It's a lovely carbon fiber pick. Carbon fiber. And uh, very, very thin. In fact, it is uh, 0.2 millimeters thin. So that's why it's a really flappy and floppy sounding when I'm playing here. You can definitely hear the pick noise. Good strumming sound. Uh, it's good for that. And uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and start a series um, since I get so many uh, requests for trying picks out. Even though I know which one I like the most, and I've done a review on it several times, the Dragon's Heart guitar pick. I prefer the pure uh, version. I'm still willing and open-minded enough to try some other picks that are out there. Um, but I thought, well, since I get requests from people asking me to play picks you know, try out picks and review their picks and uh, strings and things like that. Uh, I figure what I would do is just call it, create a series called Will It Pick? So I think that's what this is going to be based off of. How many ever uh, uh, guitar videos I get to create of that, I don't know, but uh, any pick videos I'm going to do, probably from now on, I'm just going to call it Will It Pick? Okay, so this is the question, Will It Pick? The um, carbon fiber 2 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter, um, pick from a, a company called Pick Heaven. Uh, they sent me an actual letter with this. It says about us. Pick Heaven is an alternative guitar accessories company based in northern Alberta, Canada. We focus on finding new materials that produce unique tones to quench a t guitarist tonal thirst. Our current lines of products include carbon fiber guitar slides, carbon fiber picks, like this one, and Teflon guitar picks. Now I asked for a Teflon sample, but for at the moment they didn't have any in stock. Uh, maybe we can get on getting them to give us a Teflon sample when they have some in stock. Each of these products produces a tone of their own. They range from a bright, clear tone of carbon fiber, which is what you just heard, to the smooth, warm tone produced by Teflon. Now I'm very interested to see what the Teflon sounds like because that's, that's what I prefer is a warm, woody tone. Our quest is never over. We are constantly working to find more unique tones and to improve our existing products about the carbon fiber guitar pick. As part of our continued quest to bring you the latest ad in advanced guitar accessories, we are thrilled to present our most innovative guitar pick yet. At just 0.2 millimeters thick, it's the thinnest pick in the world. Created or crafted from 3K woven carbon fiber, giving it serious strength and incre incredible flexibility. This pick will give you unrivaled control and confidence through the fantastic clarity of sound it generates giving rise to amazingly warm tones, which take your playing to the next level. Now, I just had this guitar with my Breedlove here. Uh, Breedlove guitar, can't see it because of the tuner. Uh, it's a Breedlove Revival DR Deluxe series. And uh, I just had this, uh, you know, put in the shop and, and uh, set up and everything, and it just got brand new strings on it. So, I should be able to tell the full tonal range of this pick. Now, here is the carbon fiber 2.2 mm, millimeter thick pick strumming. Okay. 
very floppy. I'll just tell you that right now. Uh, but it does produce a pretty nice uh, uh, bright tone for strumming. Now here is the Dragon's Art Pure uh, guitar pick, which I typically use. Okay, I'm using the bottom side here. And this is one I've been using for quite a while. And here's what it sounds like strumming. <laughs> Big difference a lot more warm uh, a lot more of a woody tone and just to let you know also this is what it would sound like if I use the sharp point of the uh, pick here for the dragon's heart <laughs> And if you use the rounded side, which I never use, it's apparently for strumming, here's what it would sound like. Okay, so back to the tonal comparison now of that carbon fiber pick. Very thin. Now that was a that's a 2.5 millimeter, I think is what uh, the Dragon's Heart guitar pick is. This is 0.2 millimeter. <laughs> Definitely a lot more of the floppy, slappy pick tone. Um, but it is a good um, a pick for strumming in that mm. sense. If you're just a rhythm player, uh, definitely a good pick to start out with and try out. Um, I'm not sure how carbon fiber strength is. Uh, I know they make a lot of guitars out of carbon fiber. I don't know how that changes the tone or anything like that. But they were kind enough to send me this and uh, to try out. And I'm, that's what I'm doing right now is trying it out and giving you a review on it. Now as far as picking, something that flimsy, uh, in my opinion, with my own personal style of playing, uh, is definitely not something I would recommend for bluegrass. Now, you may be able to use it for, you know, shred or things like that. I know Paul Gilbert uses a 0.5 millimeter pick, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know if he would try out a 0.2. I don't know what the idea behind having the thinnest guitar pick in the world, if that's just a claim to fame or if there's actually a practical use for it. Uh, I know it's not picking because I was trying to play the intro lick that I just a while ago, the, the tag lick. And half the time I couldn't get my pick to work right because it was just, it's too flimsy. It's flopping all over the place. As I say in my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course, um, when it comes to picking, you want a stiff pick for bluegrass anyway. You want a stiff pick because if this is the string and you've got a thin pick, then you're going to be way down here with that thin pick by the time it catches up and you're already on the next string. Okay, so if I've got two, two strings, look at that. It's always behind. It's always going to be behind. Whereas if you got a thicker pick, like the uh, Dragon's Heart guitar pick, it's going to stay right where, it is, right where you put it. I mean, it's not going to be flimsy or anything. It's going to be where you need it to be able to play fast stuff. Whereas a thinner pick is going to be hard to keep up with uh, your playing. And it doesn't require a lot of movements to play fast. Uh, it's just very precise, very small movements. Um, but even then, if you have a thin flimsy pick like this one is, it, it's not going to help you at all. And so I recommend a thicker pick, at least 0.7, and the, the higher you can go, the better. Uh, you can get, you know, outrageous though. I don't, I don't, you know, uh, play three millimeter picks or anything big like that. Find your pick, stick with it, settle with it. Uh, but preferably 0.73 or above. Actually, one millimeter sounds best to me. Uh, one millimeter and the 1.4 millimeter. Uh, by Dunlop is what I used for years and I was satisfied with that and that's the black version of that not the uh, purple version different sounds believe it or not so will it pick unfortunately the carbon fiber 0.2 millimeter will not pick uh, because it's just too flimsy 
Um, good for strumming probably. Um, good sound, you know, if you get going. A good rhythm back up. But once again, you're still hearing a lot of that slap pick sound. So if you like that sound, then by all means, check them out. Uh, you can find them at, if I'm not mistaken, it's pickheaven.com. I don't have a website on here, but you'll look up Pick Heaven Carbon Fiber Pick or Teflon Pick. You could probably find them, no problem, okay? So, will it pick? No, it will not, uh, but at least you could probably try it out. And I do thank Pick Heaven for letting me try this pick out. It will go in my uh, stash of all these picks that I've tried out over the years. I've got a huge collection of them. Um, and I think it's pretty cool to have uh, something like that to just go back over and, you know, just kind of reminisce over all the picks that you've tried. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. That will do it for this video. I've got another uh, few videos I'd like to record before I call it a day. But once again, please check out PickHeaven.com. I think that's the name of the uh, website. If not, just do a Google search for PickHeaven, and you can find out more about them. So we'll see you on the next video, guys, whatever it may be. Thanks so much. Keep playing the bluegrass. And... Check out bluegrassguitaressentials.com for more information on playing bluegrass, rhythm, lead, chords, licks, everything you can think of. I cover it on my course. It's available both on digital download, soon to be available on Udemy, the whole entire course, and DVD. Okay, so check it out. Uh, you can go to the www.bluegrassguitaressentials.com slash DVDs to find out more about both the webisodes and the DVDs. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and God bless.